I'm so happy to see everyone and on the stream today to talk about how to activate that force within to become a Jedi warrior, a Jedi in training, and use those superpowers that we have been given this lifetime that have been laying dormant and sound asleep in so many of us until they get trained on how to use them. And I want to share a little bit about our amazing guest today, Tamara called it Richardson, who's one of my very, very dear friends. And over time with her, now usually you get a formal introduction. You are not getting a formal introduction today. <laughs> You're going to get my perception of my relationship with this amazing, astounding woman who I couldn't even believe she reached out to me a few years ago. But what I have learned in working with her, so I've watched her be on various events that I helped curate and produce, and every presentation she ever gave was astounding. I mean, it was on the highest of levels. It was They were clear, they had these PowerPoints, and she was able to take every subject and dive deeper and deeper and deeper, as if she had personally witnessed Atlantis or these healing tools. And, and I'm sitting in this Atlantis conference and you have to get that I'm kind of working the conference, I'm the host. And all I could think of was, oh my God, this woman is my teacher. This is the teacher I'm supposed to have here on the planet this lifetime. There is no other teacher. And Tamara, I will say that I never sign up for people's anything. And <laughs> I never. never, because I can kind of have this little weird thing about it is that if I study with someone else, maybe, who knows what will happen. But during the Atlantis event, I kept going, oh my God, she's always been my teacher. I know her. And this is after a year or two of becoming close friends, realizing that she was my mentor teacher. And so when she offered what we're going to be talking about, I teach about your superpowers. Listen, we're all come down here. We're born. We have superpowers and they're dormant until we learn to activate them. And she sent out a notice about her superpower class. So I said, oh, I know how I teach it. Honest to God, I, this is what I said. I know how I teach it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little fly in there. I'm going to see how she's teaching it because I respect her so much. But I took her class and it was her free master class. It was great. It was so great, guys, that I have been doing more channeling and more confident of my own gifts ever since then. So I'm here to humbly, humbly, humbly introduce my dearest friend, Tamara Calder Richardson, because we are calling in people who really want to develop your gifts on all levels, all levels. So Tamara, I'm so excited to just be included in your life. I feel the same way too. And it was so organic. And I think that, you know, meeting you and, and our, our connecting and just uh, energetically connecting that that's how it should be. And one thing that I have to, um, now that you spoke so highly of me, and I, I, I appreciate that, but you know, in my heart, you know, my heart, and you know that I'm really, really into and really dedicated. And I'm like you, I have a really high work ethic and I bust my butt like you do. So I think we have a mutual admiration there. Uh, but when I met you, I didn't know those things, you know, and I, I met you online, my heart connected to yours. The thing that I love so much about you as a person, which, uh, which is transmitted through you and business and everything, you're ethical. You just know right from wrong and you don't, you know, condemn anyone, but you're like, okay, that's not going to work. And you also, you're willing to do what it takes to make something happen and you're a team player, and very few people do that, but you're honest. You honor your your own soul, and you honor others, and that's the way it should be. Yeah, when you signed it, when I saw your face in the class, I kept saying, we have a celebrity angel here today. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. Okay, let's get to the subject of, like, you know, I named the show about your force, activating that force was in. Because in the end, if we learn how to use these superpowers, which I want you to define, but when we learn how to do that, we are like a Jedi warrior. We can yeah. learn to move things with our brain, with our mind. We can use our consciousness. We can yes. read other people. So we have these gifts that 
are unseen. You know, it's not like this bottle of water. It's an unseen gift. But I want to talk about why it's so important to activate this force within us, especially during these times. Um, yeah, and that's why I just want to go ahead and give a heads up. I'm offering a free class this Sunday, but I'm going to tell you why you need to be there. And it's a rare opportunity because I know it's a rare opportunity because I know <laughs> you're... <laughs> Being out there, uh, having spiritual gifts, not really trusting certain people, or they may know. You, when you talk about all the spiritual arts, that's a whole, I have a whole, another course that's even bigger, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the free masterclass uh, training. But even if you want to use it privately for your own life and your own family, you want to know, is that real estate agent lying to you? Right. Uh, Person. And you know what I used to do in business when I owned an ad agency is that I would do this little game. You know, sidekicks and mediums do this little game. They do like how many stairs, how many elevators till it lands. They do things like this all the time. Right. So I, I was like that as a kid, you know, uh, who's going to come in the room or, you know, I do these little games and that that does help polish things or I would read people's energy uh, when you can see someone's intentions. It really helps. So even if you use it personally, so the thing that I would do in business is I would say, so is this project and I may kind of get a sense. It may be like uh, when I own an ad agency, 15,000, but I would say something really big, like 50,000. And I would say, so the budget here for this, cause they would never tell you they, they're like, never tell you. And I say, so the budget's 50, and so they thought they were doing good if they told you it was lower and they would go, either they would lower and they go, no, it's more 15. Are you interested? Because it would be a lot of work, maybe months of work. And, and I have to have other people, you know, working on the project. Uh, or they would, they wouldn't say anything and they would project a number, a mental image above their head of the figure. And then I would go, 1,500, three months of work. No, I don't want this project. <laughs> Because you figure you're going to hire people. What, you know, I'm not going to make Okay, so you were, able, you were able to project yourself into the future and see if this was a good choice. Nope. Uh, nope. That wasn't it. I, I read his mind. It's, oh, you uh, read his like, mind. Okay, right. You read his mind and you I've were read his able mind. to see. So, because you could tune in. So those are the superpower gifts and skills one of them. that we need to hone in on. Yeah. So that, okay, so that we can tell. If our doctors are telling us the truth. Right, right. Everything. Even I would use it for flirting. I would say, so no. do you like so-and-so and so? And I would say, not sexual, just things about, you know, the opposite sex or whatever, but, you know, or whatnot. And then they would go, either if they didn't get embarrassed, then I thought, oh, they're not into me. But if they got embarrassed, I was like, uh-huh, I got you. Okay, we'll go, we'll go further with this. So I would do things like, and I would read the first thing that came in their mind, and they would project a mental image picture. And some of those uh -huh. were, 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 were censored. <laughs> but it let you know, is this a romantic connection or not? That's important. That's important because you know what? I am single. I am letting the world know that that I'm calling in my true love, and actually these are this is valid. So even even valid when you're deciding where to go, you know, tuning in and say and your first thought about maybe the outcome or whether this would be a good thing. So. Uh -huh. that's well, I think it goes with this. There's a frequency that has to be there. It's kind of like when you turn on your oven. I'm, I'm, you, you'll see me use examples. Don't I use examples a lot? I use examples to the point you're yeah, like, oh, God, is this like your granddaddy talking? <laughs> He's going to tell another story. But people I just really want that. everyone to know why, they, why this is so important. Um, well, uh, I think people get caught up in techniques sometimes, and, and I want to go there real quick, Tech, spiritual techniques, which are helpful, but I think there's elementary things that I notice people don't have. They just don't have it, even the people that are practitioners. And I, as I told you, Joan, um, that I teach the spiritual teachers. I teach the spiritual teachers. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't say calling all spiritual teachers. What does a teacher mean? That means that you've been doing this a while. Okay. Probably not this lifetime alone. And so why I, I, I kept 17 years, my guides and angels kept saying, you got to do this. You go, Oh, I don't want to do this. I said, Oh, what about if I'm, and I still occasionally do that. And I'll say, what about if I, 
if they if if they do something wrong, I teach them. They go out and do something crazy. They said, "Well, that's on them." He said, "They're already doing that." And I was like, "Oh, okay." So I've had uh, under I've had personal experience for starting from my near six near death experiences and being in different altered states, controlling that coming back. We used to be the test uh, in Atlanta's and in Egyptian times uh, if you could kind of sort through these <laughs> different uh, states and come back. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. There's other ways. And I don't think it's necessary. There's ways that, you know, people do shamanic stuff and uh, ayahuasca. I'm not into that personally because I think that just seems, you know, a lot of people love their little bells and whistles. But honestly, I, I'm kind of by nature an impatient person. So I like to just go there. <laughs> okay. I, I like I, to I just go there. I, I want to share some other insights here with you. So I, I, then said, yeah, I told you how I decided Tamara was going to be my teacher. And I signed up for her class, her master class. Now, the thing I'm most afraid of is having anyone watch me do anything. And part of her master class was this direct experience on how you can look a stranger. You know, we're all strangers to each other. And we did little pride. She taught us how to do it in a sense. And then she monitored us in such a way that she would help us read this other person and not that I don't read people I do but yeah. I didn't know how to do it her way which is like knowing nothing about you and and she brought out and encouraged each of us in such a way that by the time I left my superpower of reading others was far more developed than when I started now it, it and it was I can't say it was actually enjoyable because I was anxious about it but the results were really positive. And the more I think about these superpowers, the more I get that, that we're in vulnerable times now and knowing how to read other people and knowing it's critical. You know, if our antenna's up and we get a warning, don't go to the right, go left. Like how we respond to that yes. is really important, I think, in our in our survival in the next period of time. Are you kidding? Okay. So I'm just going to talk for real now. Just, just Thank every you. day, every day, <laughs> every day you look at your, whatever it is, Instagram or your, uh, you know, with the little TikTok things or whatever they have. And everybody's always talking about something. For example, someone sent me something last night and, you know, we saw those little blue aliens at the mall, right? And people said they were a holographic projection. Now they're saying Antarctica that, you know, that it was the, the mall. If you flip Antarctica, the coordinates is actually the freaking Vegas mall. So I'm thinking how, you know, how would they have, you know, that, that's a, that can't be a coincidence. So you're looking at all these things and there's so much disinformation. I'm not saying that's not, you know, uh, correct or not, but you're looking at so much, you have to be able to discern it. And even the, the ones, and of course, that's your connection to God. That's a whole different thing. And that's just a surrender and blending with the divine and your higher self. Um, and so, and I work with Christ a lot. People know that about me. Uh, but he brings me others, other <laughs> religious figures that I didn't know that, that were amazing, like, uh, like Catholic saints. He's brought them to me. So we have a big team helping us. And I, I find that it's important to understand your information as the vessel Look, I like my toys. I mean, people have their little pendulums and their little doohickeys and all their little stuff. All right. But the thing is, uh, we are the main instrument. We are the divine instrument. And we are the, we need to learn how to, to do that. And, and I think you really hit on something, Joan, is being humble. You, it's important to be humble in anything that you do, this spiritual work. And when I see someone in the spiritual arts business and they're arrogant, it's a real turnoff because to me, I'm seeing there's not a connection. How could you not be connected with, um, you know, the heavenly father, mother, father, God, creator, whatever you want to call it, you know, and have that. Now, I don't think people are a bad person if they are that way. I think they just got a little disconnected. So, the humbling and surrendering and being present is very important to learning. So we are all teachers and we are all students. And uh, I would, but I was, I was told, and that's who, uh, that's who is attracted to me and also my Seeking Heaven channel, which I've had Joan on, is spiritual leaders. I'm not saying I wouldn't be interested in a beginner, I can, but I can energetically link in to one or both people with their permission. <laughs> 
and I can mentally see what they're saying. And I can also stand back by location because I was by location when I was dead. <laughs> I can stand back and I can look at it and view it and I can go in spiritually. I do that all the, all the time. I do interdimensional travel. I was dead two hours. You can learn a lot of things uh, <laughs> in these different realms. And then Jesus is my teacher. I was spent time with him for three days when I was in an induced coma uh, after being dead, covered up with a sheet and all that. So there are things we can do. And, and what I, I have trained with John Holland, Tony Stockwell from the UK, him with eight years and Lisa Williams, eight years and certified by Lisa Williams. Um, I, I knew a lot of this coming in, but it was good for me to put myself, I, I kind of added it up. It was about 600 psychic mediums over the years and channelers that I trained with. And, uh, you know, you got to be willing to put yourself out there and what's the worst thing that can happen? If you suck, even if you're professional, guess what? All you can do is get better. There's certain areas that we may not be really skilled at. Like I have a friend who's a medium. She will not touch psychic stuff. I'm like, why? Well, I'll be deciding from people. I said, I don't decide. Do I look like I decide for people? <laughs> okay, look, based on the situation at hand, you've got, you know, many, many outcomes. But the one I see that you would really like is this one. And, but you can do anything you want to do. And I said, does that resonate? Now, one thing I noticed that I've had personally with me with a lot of readers is that they don't make contact with you. They're not looking at you and you can blend not with their, you can look at a higher level on the soul level and you can go in and immediately get a read what they're kind of about uh, energetically. But you have to somewhat care about the other person to a degree in that moment in time of being service. You have to care about that person's concern. And uh, I think it's important. It depends on your level of excellence. But the, the good news, if you think you're good, you're probably not as good as you think you are, but you can get better. And, and here's why. Most people don't train in all the spiritual arts. Um, I also did ghost hunting. I've seen a lot of stuff. I've also seen a lot of, I've seen demons. I've seen stuff that's scientifically impossible, but I've seen it. I've seen freaking fairies, elementals. I had to chase out of some lady's yard and I said, just stick some food over here for it. <laughs> just don't touch the chubacabra. Um, I mean, and so I've been a part of this paranormal world too. And I've seen duality. Not, I don't mean out here in the world, but I've seen dark and light. I've seen two fallen angels. I've seen angelic angels, which were pretty freaking awesome. I saw Michael in my bedroom after I did battle on for three or four years for this one lady helping her. And my whole room lit up blue. He showed up and then he was like a supernova blast in my room. And so um, the, uh, how do you work with your guides? How do you understand the symbolisms they're telling you? Because they work through symbolism. When I see when I see Mickey Mouse, I think, did you just go to Disney World or do I think Florida? Is there a Florida connection? Who was the Florida connection in Disney World? And people go, you're fishing. Well, you're not because we're Disney World come up. And they'll go, well, yeah, my my uncle or, or my, my brother just went there. So then I'll go, okay, your mom wants to talk about your brother. And I'll go, hold on a minute. <laughs> they'll go, okay, he's in a very unhappy marriage. Do you know that? Well, they've had problems. You need to pull him to the side and talk to him. Your mom is like telling you, you need to help your brother. Well, we don't talk to them. Well, you need to. And so you can learn to understand your, you, the vessel, and, and take it to a higher level because we need all of us. We need to quit being petty. We need, yes. to, we need to be humble. We need to help each other and quit being so freaking arrogant because there's no one I've met all these years like me. Okay. There's no one I've met like Joan and there's probably no one like you. So just from the exercises that we did in that, um, which you'll see yeah, this Sunday class, okay. at Sunday at, 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 p.m. Pacific time, and it's free, uh, which you'll sign up. Joan will put it up here in a minute, but you'll see different styles. The style's cool. I encourage that because some people are more touchy-feely. They go in. One lady went in. Uh, I think it was Deatra, not to say her name, but I was impressed. She, she, bam, a bunch of past life stuff. But the problem with that is, is the person ready to handle all that 
emotionally, because some people say you've had a past life in Egypt, you slaughtered a bunch of people there. You could just traumatize them. So you have to learn what to say and what not to say. Now, people like Jonah, we're pretty hot confront. We're like, God, I know. Well, I'm working it out now. <laughs> but a lot of people would have a meltdown if you told them that. And if you see their, their husband or wife is having an affair, you do not ever tell someone that. If someone's going to die, you do not tell them. This isn't why. It doesn't help. That that's for their journey to go through. But your guides may be telling you that so you can be kind and, and have grace and understanding and maybe help empower them. This is amazing. Why don't you take a deep breath for a second? I want to absorb everything you're saying because we know how much information you just threw at it. So one of my very dear friends is on the line also. And one of the things she really appreciated is the frequency for which you come from, which is similar to hers. You can see it on the screen. Mother, Father, Creator, and Christ Consciousness. Yeshua is my teacher. So, you know, sharing that this is this is not of the lower frequencies. These are the higher frequencies. The reasons I'm bringing Tamara on is that these are important tools to navigate 2024 and beyond. Because honestly, we are in muddy waters. And having that direct connection to source, to your guides, to our, our guardians is critical. And being able to recognize in real time, like you have 60 seconds to decide if you're going to get out of there. Part of what's coming up in the next period of time is going to demand this instantaneous knowingness. And being trained in it is why we talk about this force is within us. You're here on this planet now because you chose to be, the, you knew that these were the times that you would develop the skills so you can step into your own power, your own force, and it's required. It, it's required it's to effectively now. navigate now, because you know if you're awake, you understand the situation. That's why this training is, is important. Also knowing, and I wanna talk about this, Tamara, of, of the forces that have really opposed us in knowing this. We were deliberately lied to about these gifts and these powers and the nature of our connection to, to our creator. So maybe you can address that. Yeah, I'd love to. So here's the thing. We got a labyrinth. Okay, now I'm, I'm talking to my generation's <laughs> lifetimes of light workers, seekers, you know what I'm talking about. We are the same. The time of being the lone wolf and ego, 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 ego is gone. If we're going to survive, uh, I'm not an alarmist. You don't even hear me talk about this, but it, it, I'm saying this because we're at that point. We need to come together. If you even look at a lot of our timeline in the past, many of us have been burned as a witch. We don't even like talking about that. Those are not those times. It's not going to happen. You may have an occasionally a person that may say something negative. Mediumship is bad, for example, uh, that they're born like this. And a lot of people are born like this, but they never develop the gifts because of their religious whatever, right? How could God, the creator, make a mistake and put in these beautiful gifts within us. The other aspect, the way I look at it, if there is darkness in the world, and I see it mainly in people, although I have seen demonic entities and they, they like to oppress people, they'll possess if they'll let you spiritually through different things. I don't worry about that because I stand with the most high, with God, Christ, the angels, a lot of assistance, all I'm saying. Lady in the class, I don't know if she's watching. Lynn, if you're watching. And she said, oh, I have problems with energy and shut things down. This is another one with um, people that are watching that are like me. I used to do that. You know what handled it? Sometimes the easiest solutions are the best. A little girl, my grandparents had a hosier mill. They made men's socks. And at the end of the day, it was a big, they had machines, huge, right? 38 machines. And they would go, he would say, Anna, pull this conveyor latch down. And I didn't really do it. He did it for me. But I visualize a huge switch coming off. And so when I'm around electrical stuff, I pull that freaking switch. Another thing I do, if I want to be in town and I don't want someone to see me or have a lot of conversation, I put a God bubble around me and then I put a mirror on the outside so that I'm just invisible. Or I'll say I'm invisible and people will notice me, but they won't notice me. They'll kind of just smile and keep walking on. So I don't know the play out. I do get prophetic information. I do. Timelines are shifting. But 
we shouldn't worry about that if we know that we're supposed to be here now. How put sanity in there. If you look at how dangerous uh, psychic mediums, intuitives, and healers are, look at the biblical days and look at the times where um, they were sought out. Time of King Herod, they killed a hundred prophets. And so prophets is a word for people that have information they shouldn't know. So we were sought out because we're dangerous. We need to be leaders in our community, but we can't do that if we're arrogant. We need to hone in on our gifts. I have advanced abilities. I can do that. And I can, I, I've held it to the test with several people around the world. Is it perfect? No, but you got to have your accuracy come in 85 to 95%. And you've got to know that you do because when people come to you and if the answer is, I don't know, have ethics and say, I don't know. I just, they're not telling me. I just don't know. Sometimes we get blocks on information because it's against the sole contract to discuss it. Uh, but this is, there are so many things that we can do right now instead of being so focused on whatever it is we're focused on. You know, the biggest investment you'll ever make is in your, is in yourself. I, I agree with you that this is really important for, it, 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 you don't have to be like a, a working psychic or someone who wants to be a coach or a, a reader or a tarot card. This is really not about that. This is really about learning how to access your skills so you can walk in the world safely and empowered and as a leader and you can activate people and do your heart, your heart's work, knowing you're divinely protected and knowing that you're actually aligned with, with that voice within, which is guiding you at all times. So in a sense, it's teaching you how to, how to be able to trust that voice within immediately. Instant yes, knowing which way to go. And the more we hone in on it, the, the better it is for not just you, but for the people around you. Take that further on with everything that's going on in the world. Let's say there was some real trouble going on. We're not going to spell what that is because I don't want to manifest it. But let's just say, not that there isn't already, but something going on. People that are intuitive, like the people watching, uh, me, Joan, that wouldn't you think that I'd say, hey, Joan, I'm getting some weird visions. What are you getting? Well, if we're connected to helping humanity, connected to God, about coming from a love vibration, uh, not to sound hippy dippy, but it's what it is. You know, that's what Jesus taught, you know, love vibration. And so if we're coming from that and we're all getting similar information, well, guess what? That's validation. We need to be connected to one another and we need to continue our training. And then you need to perfect what you're doing in all areas and then move up and get your tribe and, get, and then you train them. Maybe it's your local community, but we need to do this everywhere because there's about, uh, Dar I don't know if I believe this. I'm just stating what I read. Dolores Cannon said there's about 1% of us out there. I think there's more than that. Okay. I think there's more. I think even my husband, who's, is would you consider a normal person, you know, uh, um, but he has certain things he's really good at. Like he always knows, always the first time he and meets someone, if he can trust them or not, he, he's never been wrong. And it's growing, you know, the more that we focus on our light and, and shine it and learn to connect, then the more that we spread that. How can people yes. sign up for this, this Sunday training? And what, what does that entail? So this is learn how to activate your spiritual gifts. I'll go into the first part. We are going to start in time. I don't want to lock anyone out. I really want everyone involved. Uh, so I don't know how long we're going to hold the doors open, quite honestly, because I don't want, at some point it's a privacy issue with people that are training, but this is not going to have replays, no replays for you to look at because people are going to be, so this is live and this will be on portal day, March 3rd and at three Eastern time. So three, three, three or at 12 p.m. Pacific. We do have a limitation to a hundred. We have 90 people so far. <laughs> It's crazy. Not that all 90 will show up. We got a pretty full house. So I want you to come. I want you to take benefit of this and put your put put your ego or concerns or worries or, or whatever aside. Anyway, no, I signed up for the class because I like the idea of training and getting feedback and learning how to be even more accurate than I've been and increase it. But actually, I noticed when I was out in the world after after just the master class, 
and I was doing these readings, I was like, wow, it was coming in so much faster, all the information. So I want to leave everyone with that. Walking your, your soul purpose this lifetime. So, yeah. and which is sure. what I'm all sure. about, Tamara. Well, you, I, I was impressed because I put you on the spot and you wanted to do your normal process and your date and name and all. And that's okay. Cause I have had, when I first started out, the funny, I was terrible story, in the class. I really, no, you I did didn't. great. You did great. But I said, no, go from your heart. And you went, oh, and you drop it to your heart and see us star seeds understand dropping it to our heart. But when we have our little gizmos around, like I used to light a candle every time I did mediumship. So every time I want to be romantic with my husband, we'd light a candle. Well, guess who shut up? freaking tons of spirit people so i had to shut that down you don't need because you need <laughs> to trust it was weird I, I i have some funny stories and I, and it's it's this is where we can learn and share from one another but another thing too is because when i came i don't tell a lot of people this i don't even know if you know this joan um not to throw a cherry on top but it's the truth i never say this but i'm just gonna go ahead and say it because i've had so many white light god jesus into ease, not hellish ones or not, oh, it expanded my consciousness, but like these higher level ones, I came back with something a little different. So if people allow me permission based, a lot of times that I can raise their energy or activate them and I can, you know, in a good way and healing takes place. When I used to do mediumship, um, I, people would start being healed. And I thought it was a total accident. But think about it, when we're all using this beautiful divine energy, this this place that, you know, we call heaven, uh, we can bring heaven here, then that's what we should bring in our sessions, not all these gadgets and, you know, go it this way. And the other thing, the chakras, it's great to have that lined up. I don't even work with that. I mean, yeah, I understand it. I'm good at it. I know how to open and close. But I, I now just go, boom, straight crown chakra, expanded, huge. And so... Uh, these techniques I use, I'm impatient. So I like to go for source quick. I go right to source quick and you can too. So guys sign up for the, the master class on Sunday. Just do it because you're curious, you know, do it because you go, okay, she says we have gifts. Like, what's it like? What's the next level for me? Um, why? So that you can be more powerful in your life. You can have yeah. greater confidence and presence. So Tamara, just one last time, Tell them where to find you and where this they can register for the class. Go to academyofdivinewisdom.com. If you look under events, you'll see the free thing Sunday for so free. Guys, thank you. Check out Tamara's class. I, I wouldn't have her on if she wasn't part of my inner circle and I thought it was important, honestly. And even, even to the point that I'm taking that class of hers because I too know that I have to even go higher with my skills as I activate all of you. How would I know what to activate all of you if I'm not highly trained to register how to help connect you to the divine? So, guys, I am Joan of Angels, and you can check me out at joanofangels.com. And as a matter of fact, you can pick up the free ebook on living and knowing your, your soul-filled purpose, which is really part of all of this work as we really learn how to connect with what we're here to do. Here for a reason, and you are a beautiful love filled soul and we are so happy you are in our life and if you love this work please like share and subscribe and we appreciate you for love all. you joan and love everybody I watching love you. thank you all right okay. Bless blessings everybody see you all next time <laughs>